Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. I'm Andras. Hello, my name is Theodor. In this debate, we're going to talk about the differences between Pulsar F155 and the new model Pulsar. This is the old one. This yeah. is the old one and the new one Pulsar uh, F455. Now, the first model was introduced in 2017. Now we're in 2019. Only two years have gone by and Pulsar already decided to update one of their uh, main, uh, main devices. So what is the reason behind this? Why did they make this transition so quickly? Well, all in all, we all always know that Pulsar is probably uh, the fastest company when it comes to <clears throat> exchanging their models and updating the model range. They're really, really fast. But I would say that the main reason probably, at least what they say, is that uh, when they introduced the 155 uh, forward in 2017, it generated really massive interest on the market. I know that, at least in our shop, it was like immediately after uh, the introduction uh, of the product, it was like so many back orders that it was really, really hard to keep up. And the bottleneck with production of these devices was the, the sensors. So they said, okay, we can either continue to produce them in limited numbers uh, compared to the market demand, because their demand was much, much bigger than the actual uh, production facilities, or we can redesign the internal, uh, well, redesign the device in a way that, that they're able to produce them more. So they said, okay, we will change the sensor because the sensor to obtain the sensors from, from the producers was the main bottleneck of the production of 155. So they said, okay, we will find a different sensor where we can get more of them. So the production of the new model began somewhere in April 2019. Yeah. yeah. And now we're in May. Yeah. And they are promising that they are now going to ship them out in bigger numbers. Yeah. So that they will... Uh, try to solve the problem of, of back orders and they will try to to produce them enough to fill the market and to to catch up with all the back orders. So if we now look at the outer appearance we can tell that they're pretty much identical. They're almost identical. The only external difference is the new illuminator. Uh, they, they, when I saw these devices for the first time, I think it was in January, as, as prototypes, it was like this, okay, we're going to change the sensor, we're going to change the display uh, so that we are able to produce them in bigger numbers, but we will make them better also. Because with, with Pulsar is, I would say, a saying in a company that each new device has to be better than the old one. So they said, okay, what can we do better? And one of the things was the, the illuminator. And the first thing, what you can see the difference between the 455 and 155 is the way you remove the illuminator. With the 155, you had a rotating, rotating uh, ring which connected the illuminator to the device. Um, yeah. With the, with the four, 145, this is made even easier with a quick detachable system. Yes, it has a, like a lever yeah. uh, that has to be um, put up and then removed. And it's much easier to, to, to detach it and reattach it and it's also the design of the, the whole illuminator is a little bit different. And when we are talking about externals, that's it. They use the same battery, BPAC. And normally now there are four different versions of these batteries, uh, but they look the same on the, on the external. The only difference is the capacity. So the whole body stayed completely the same, with the exception of the illuminator. Uh, the menus are the same, the buttons are the same, the focusing knob is the same. Uh, also, the, um, the bayonet for the adapters is completely the same, so you can interchange all the adapters and so on. So, on the external, it's more or less the same device. Okay, uh, what about the interior? So, the software is where we have the most changes, and the sensor, yeah, sensor. and the display, right? The hardware and the software. Eh? Yeah. Uh, the software is different in the way it processes the image normally because of the differences, uh, different sensor, different uh, display. And then the hardware itself, the new sensor has much higher pixel count. So the old sensor was uh, 702 by 526 pixels. The new one is much bigger, 1280 
by 720 pixels. That's a huge step up. That's right? a huge step up. Uh, you gain a little bit wider field of view and you get better image quality. But this is not everything. Also the, the sensitivity, it's much better on the new device. So you need less light to get equal, um, equal level of quality of the image. So basically they, they already gave the numbers uh, in milliwatts, uh, how much of light needs to, um, to land on the sensor, that the sensor is able to produce an image. And roughly, I would say the sensitivity of the new sensor is two times better if you look at those numbers. Normally, when we are talking about the sensitivity, the, the whole subject is much more complex and it's not so easily to extrapolate that the new one is twice as good or twice better. Uh, the numbers are better, but in general also the image quality is better. So you need less uh, illumination to get the same image quality and you can also detect all the objects on a little bit further, on a little bit bigger distances than before. Now I know that both devices use the same type of display, the AMOLED display, yeah, yeah, but the resolution, here we have the difference again, right? And Ooh, this is and also, quite a step up again. Yeah. yeah, the old one was uh, 640 by 480, the new one is 1746 by 1000. Oh, so really... it's twice as, well it's not if you look at this, it's four times as big roughly uh, and this is you can really see the details much better on the on the new device and the video resolution is also has also been improved yeah. right it's uh, twice as big as it was it used to be uh, it used to be 640 by 480 now it's 1280 by 720 so it's much much bigger and it gives you a better image details now we've already talked about the illuminator it mm -hmm. uh, the the features on it are a little bit updated so to say yeah. but it still emits the same the same wavelength right and still 940 940 uh, which still makes it invisible to most well, animals understand. right um, yeah that's the biggest advantage of digital night visions uh, night vision devices first of all is that you are able to use them during daytime which with analog you are not able to uh, second of all is that the illuminators with everything what is above 940 nanometers it's more or less invisible to animals so you can really use the full power of the illuminator and it will not get detected and they do have a much longer lifespan as well right yeah yeah um, what I also noticed before when I uh, tested this is that uh, it really has it turns on in a uh -huh. split second almost compared to the old yeah. one it's like yeah. immediate even the old one isn't that slow if we compare it to some other Two devices seconds. yeah but so this one is second and it's up, so yeah, it's it's really, really quick. Mm, I do have to say also that the price is different. Uh, different. Now in 2019, the 155 was priced roughly 1,100 euros, 1,070 euros or something like that. The new one is uh, 1,250. So a little bit less than 200 euros more but you get a much better device. Yes, if we take into account all the updates, it's still a really really great price yeah when you look at the pixel count on on the sensor and the display the price increase is really worth it uh, and second uh, it's also that on the market currently there is no real competition in this class it's it's like yeah. pools are here at roughly 1500 euros if you look with the with the, the price together with an adapter and so on or or even less and then everything what is analog is at least twice as more uh, expensive. So Poser is still owning the market in this segment. The warranty period remained the same, I think. Yeah, three years. Um, even though we already knew with the 155 that there is almost no warranty cases. So uh, it was a really good device uh, from the start. I think that everything else um, is pretty much the same, right? Yeah. I think that... Uh... If you found this video useful, you can see a very similar video up here which will definitely spark your interest or a playlist which we put together for for you and normally if you like our channel please subscribe down here